Okay, hi there, it's Jeff here again with another video in our key diagram series. We take a topic and just work our way through the key diagram that can get you some great marks for your analysis in exams. Let's spend a few minutes together thinking about the shutdown price for business in the short run. Now in the short run, uh, we assume that a business needs to cover at least their variable costs to continue producing. And we also can make a working assumption that if the fixed costs of production are, uh, are there for a firm, those are the costs that don't depend on output, well, the fixed costs are lost to a business if a plant or a factory is shut down. This is really quite an important assumption. If you close down production, essentially you then lose the fixed costs uh, because they may not be recoverable. So here's a set of cost curves in the short run with uh, uh, falling and rising average and marginal cost. I've also added in the average variable cost. Of course, that uh, uh, moves towards AC because the average fixed cost of production falls as output goes up. So the gap between AC and AVC is fixed cost per unit. Let's put in some uh, uh, revenue curves in a second. In the next diagram, you'll see a business that's making a loss. Uh, because the revenue per unit is less than the cost per unit, but it is at least covering their variable costs. Uh, so the loss per unit will be lower if it continues to supply rather than shut down. So let's work through this. So here's the average revenue curve of the firm. Same cost as before. Let's put in the marginal revenue. So downward sloping demand curves. Assuming a profit maximizing firm. That's where MR meets MC. That's the output Q1. And there's a whole series of little circles there. Well, let's work through. So with output Q1... That's the price that's charged P1, but can you see that that price is lower than the cost per unit AC1? So the firm is making a loss per unit, but the price P1 is above the average variable cost. Let's go back a slide. The price they're charging P1 at Q1 is above the variable cost per unit. So it's making a loss, but it's more than covering its variable costs. As a result, the loss per unit is shown by the green shaded area there if they carry on producing. But if they were to shut down, well, they'd lose the fixed cost. And the fixed cost is that gap between AC and AVC. So if they didn't produce, that would be the loss incurred. Loss if you produce, loss if you shut down. A firm can keep producing even if price is lower than cost because, and that's quite a nice way of thinking about it, they're making a contribution towards the fixed costs, which, which have been paid anyway. Now in the next diagram, you'll see uh, the business experiences a, an inward shift of average and marginal revenue. Okay, This causes the profit maximizing price to fall below AVC. So now they'll, you'll see in a minute, they're not even covering their variable costs of production. And in this situation, the losses from continuing may be higher than if the plant is shut down, perhaps uh, temporarily. So here we go. Uh, same cost curves as before, but you can see there's been quite a big fall in demand. So average and marginal revenue have shifted down and to the left. The profit maximizing output is now Q2. There's the cost per unit AC2. There's the price per unit P2. So that's the loss per unit. Quite a hefty loss per unit there. There's the variable cost per unit. So if they carry on uh, producing, they'll make a loss shown by the yellow area, price minus cost. But if they shut down, they only lose the fixed costs, which is the green area. So carry on producing, shut down. So in this situation, because the price is below average variable cost, they are below the shutdown point, and therefore they should um, uh, shut down production, if that's a, a heavily loss-making factory, plant, outlet, whatever you want to call it. Now, it's not inevitable that production will shut down if the price falls below average variable cost. Not inevitable. So some firms may think, for example, there's just been a tempor temporary fall in demand or a, a short-lived unexpected rise in costs. So there's, if it's temporary unexpected rises in cost and demand, which might be reversed, uh, then you don't necessarily have to shut down. The firm might be able to raise new debt by issuing bonds or bank loans or maybe raise fresh equity from shareholders to help tide them over. And of course, don't forget, government financial support, such as the furlough scheme, which we saw during the, the pandemic, might also be significant. The furlough scheme uh, provided a significant wage subsidy for millions of workers. I think up to 12 million workers were furloughed at one point or another at a time when businesses were facing a severe fall in revenues, particularly in things like travel, 
tourism and, uh, and hospitality. So there we go. Hopefully this was useful. Uh, working through the key diagram for the short run shutdown plans.